<laughs> so we're standing here, we're waiting for a friend. Yesterday we were going to go ormering or looking for abalone on the beach, and Rebecca's car's flat. Um, why it does that, I don't know. It's been doing it a couple of times where it just randomly goes flat. She used it the day before, and today it's just flat again. So there's obviously something wrong with the battery or the alternator. So, And we can't take mine because my alternator's got jammed. <laughs> so it's all going wrong. I tell you, my alternator just won't turn. We tried to move it the other day. It just will not move. So that's going to be, we're going to be looking at that in the coming week or so, Put, propping it up onto... Uh, up in the air and getting underneath it and we have to take the alternator off we've got all new belts and that we're going to be redoing all the belts and that on it and fixing a couple of other little issues with it and getting that ready for this year but we're completely out of action at the moment <laughs> like i say yesterday we couldn't go today we thought yeah we we'll charge it up and off we go but i don't think it charged it i think we yeah. it must have moved or something and it hasn't charged it so right now we're waiting for a friend to come up because he's going on so he's going to pick us up and we're going with him so yeah, there you go long, long walk otherwise it's a long walk yeah well we could go that way but we'd have to go down the cliffs so um yeah so anyway we'll get back to you when we're down the beach and looking for abalone if we ever get there because we're supposed to be going tomorrow again so i need to get this fixed by tomorrow as well so it's all a bit oh, we could camp it's always like this though because what happens is you don't use your equipment much in the winter and then everything gets a bit bleh. And when you come to use it, everything goes a bit funky. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> right, so see you on the beach. So we have arrived and we're going to be heading down the beach very shortly. It's an absolute beautiful day. A little bit overcast, but that sea is so calm. We're going to see what we can find. A couple of people down here, but it's not too busy today, which is surprising. But uh, let's get down there and see what we can find. Oh, we're getting there slowly. It's a long walk, very flat area. There's nothing in there, There's, well, there was something in there because. You can see the way that that's been pushed out, that sand in there. If you feel nothing, don't spend too long on it, because he's probably gone. Keep on moving. Probably been lifted that one actually. Nice, eh? Yeah, show the camera. There you go, one little lobster and a worm hanging off the side of it. Maybe that was his dinner. So, first lobster, but too small. Hey, look at the worm. It's a worm, that. Huh? Kind of ragworm, right? Back you go. That's the first one. Baby lobster. I'm gonna bring your knife over and your deeper gauge. Put on there. Not a pretty sight when you see all the rocks left like this. Some people just storm through collecting ormers just for the money. They have no interest in their environment, I can tell you that much.
Look at this beautiful little squat lobster we found. Lovely colours on its striped legs, blue back. There's numerous species, but this is a absolute cracker. I'll just pull it away a bit because it might be out of focus so close. But that's an absolute lovely little squat lobster. Right, well, let's pull him back. I'll put him back over here so I need that rock in a second. There we go. Good job. Right, we've just spotted an uh, abalone, a nice big one. If you lift that rock there, you'll see what I mean. I can see it from here. And look down the crevice, move that one at the back behind too. You might even find more if you're lucky. Beauty under here, I think. I can see it from a distance, slowly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at that, absolute crasher. Well and truly over that is. Yeah, that's a beautiful size all of that. Perfect. Alright. Another little one next to it. Right, let's uh, keep looking. Yes. That made you lift it. Yep. Nice. Show the camera it. That's to the right a bit. In the same area, look. Oh, a nice one. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Right, keep it quiet. Let that drop. Give me that one. There's two more. Two more nice Yeah, I think so. Give it a double check later. Sure. These rocks here as well, maybe the ones locked in here. Up high. Yeah. Very busy lady finding her supper. <laughs> There's two more over here. I'm just having a, a break. I shouldn't have worn this coat. It's too flipping hot. I should have known better. But no, I still put it on because I'm stupid. Right under the camera. Right under the camera. I <laughs> put the camera down. Yeah. Look at that wrinkly old thing. Yeah. Montagues. Yeah. Show it through the lens a bit, not too far. Closer. Look at that wrinkly crab. No, not me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this one here, not yeah. that one. Not that one. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna pop those in your bag. I will. Three more. Ooh, lovely, lovely. Look at those. Look at the size of her. That one. She's going for the world championship. Yeah. Biggest ormer. Now, yeah, lovely that. Have a look at it in your hand. Yeah. That's a good handful there. Yep. Lovely. Nice. So you were saying about big one. <laughs> So we just turned the rock in. This is the rock somebody's missed because all this has been turned here. You can see they haven't bothered turning any of the rocks back. And that's what you get when you, oh, you go have, too fast. You haven't. Let me look. 
when you go too fast, that's what you find under the rock. No. <laughs> you always have to go one better. Look. <laughs> oh. Well, you know. You got me all excited about finding big ones, so <laughs> I had to find a big one. <laughs> sure one. Two good almonds. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that's what we want, is a big one. It's one just under there, about to get out. Let's hook it out. That was enough. So, too weird, but I think they're too small. No one's actually legal. That one won't. We're going to take a look at a rock that everybody knows looks because it's too small. It looks like a piece of the ground. Can you see the rock? Can you see the rock? Well, I mean it's here. I would yeah. call that definitely because I can see that lip on it. Yeah, we'll flip it over. This one here. Yeah. <laughs> look at the size hiding. of it. Hiding. Yeah, you see what I mean? That's what you're looking for, those those secret little rocks yeah. that people miss every year. Look at this little crab yeah, here. little porcelain crab, yeah. There's loads of those on the same so little porcelain. Yeah, that's an absolute cracker. So show the camera, the folks, that one. I mean look at that. It's beautiful. There's a crab on him as well. Yeah. Lovely. That one should be size. Should be. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just give him, should we give him the benefit of the doubt? Just let him go. Yeah. We've got enough. We don't need to take him like that. If they're, if they're questionable, just let him go. Very suspect. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing under there. What was that? Something big moved underneath it. Yeah, I tell you, I've seen so many little top knots come. Yeah, there you go. There, there we are. That's what we're looking for. That's big enough. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's my knife there if you want. Yeah, I, actually I'll use the knife, it's a bit easier. There we go. We'll gauge it, but I know it's size. So you can easily tell that it's size. Yeah, look. It's well past, past the gauge by half a centimetre or something. Check, we? Took that back. What else are we missing here? Can I check this one? A couple 
more here, but I'm not too hopeful because they're kind of in the sand a bit. Mm. Baby one there. Baby one. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's just flip them all over and put them back in a sec. A lot of uh, spot lobsters. Nothing here. Look at that, look, left in the sun. Mm. This is the problem when yeah, people don't look. put them back. The, One the just water, left up. The water dries out and then they bake in the sun like that. That's why the rocks are going to be flipped over quite often. Or back over. Um, this one. The little sucker fish, look. Yeah, I see that. On the rock. Right, so it's just this one, but it might... I'll check it. Yeah, it'll be interesting because, like you say, they've oh, been lifted. I'll give lifted. me a knife. It'll be easier to get them off. Yeah. Yeah, he's a bit. I don't know though, he does look long. He does look long. We use yours. So you've got a deeper gap on it. It is actually size. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. Plenty good. Plenty Let's try good. and get that rock over. Yeah, we'll pull, we'll pull him off and put him underneath. Uh, now, I'll just do it like this. Just if I do it like carefully. Like that. The tide is coming in now, so. Oh, okay, he'll be okay. Yeah. Good. Mm. You don't know what's been lifted and put back here. Some people do put them back. Yeah. Not everybody that leaves them up. <laughs> there you go. Cracker. Good call on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's That's a good one. Good one, yeah. Doesn't even need to be gauged. Nope. And that rock behind you there, look. Yeah, let me just get this one back up. And the, these few here, actually. Yeah, some of them are pretty quickly, haven't they? Check up, sir. That one's been flipped. This one here, then. Flipping? Nope. Oh, lobster, look at him go. He's a big, big old squat lobster. Yeah, with an extended claw. Yeah. So ben said, I wish. Yeah. Yep, another corker. Baby. Oh, I did see another little lobster, by the way, yeah. but I couldn't, he was in too much water and he shot backwards. There's so many prawns, they're falling off the rocks now, look as the tide comes in. You flip them that size, you flip the rock and they drop Yeah. Off quite often. Prawning. Shrimping. So I've just found this giant lobster. Ah, oh, it's massive. Look at it. Look at it. It's an absolute monster. <laughs> Biggest one I've ever caught. You wouldn't believe. It. I mean, look, you know. And also found this ormer. I mean, look at the size of that ormer against that five-pound lobster. <laughs> I mean, that is the biggest abalone ever. Yeah, uh, it's funny actually because you never used to see these. It's very. They used to be so rare. I think I found one up to the age of about thirty. But now you find them all the time because, like I say, there are so many lobsters about. We found, how many we found today? Four or five lobsters? They're all undersized most of the time on the beach, but you do find a lot. Right, let me get him back because he's uh, got to get back home for lunch. Yeah. Right, we have stopped. We're going to do the count up and the check the size again, make sure they're all legal. If the battery dies, we'll show you them when we get home. And that'll save me having to change the battery here. 
because we, like I say, are about to head off. That is a giant one, that. I have to get the old tape measure on that one later. And here we have some of our catch today. And you can see, well, may not see, but these are some, we had some real big ones. I say real big ones up to sort of the maximum that they grow to. And we're going to be frying some of these up, actually. We're going to, we're going to have some fried almonds and then whatever's left, we'll put into a casserole and we'll casserole those, but we'll, uh, we'll have a few earlier because the casserole is going to take, won't be done till tomorrow, the final result, whereas the frying, we can have done straight away, so we'll have a few fried ones. Seems we haven't had those for a while. Great trip. Some real big ormas on this trip. So, yeah, very successful day. It's been really, looking really good the last few years for the ormas. Um, let's hope it continues and people don't get carried away and start doing what they did 40, 50 years ago and almost wiped them out. So, <laughs> anyway, let's get cooking. There you have it, a nice plate of fried ormas.